Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Serenium Automation and Java Running with Shini. This is Srinivasan here and just to give you a quick note, I'm a B Computers Engineer. I've got special expertise on automation area and I've been certified in Oracle, Java, ISTQB and Serenium. So if you have not looked at my previous videos on Selenium and Java, I would advise you can just go to my playlist in my channel and go through it. So you can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications. So in this today's session, we are going to look at two common exceptions which the programmer face when they try to do some automation using Selenium. That is session not found exception and web driver exception. So let's get directly back to the practical part. So this is a simple code which you might be aware of since you would have gone through my previous sessions of Selenium and Java, you would be able to understand the syntax part. So here we are trying to launch the Chrome driver first, then we are trying to load the Google application and then we are just trying to close the application. That's a simple program we are trying to do here. Just imagine that for the time being that there could have been a misplacement of this particular syntax or this particular statement. It could be used somewhere above. Maybe before even we launch the Google browser, right? Google application. We launch the browser. Let's say this particular statement was here. So here we are trying to reference the driver variable of web driver Chrome driver part when it's already been closed. This driver dot close indicates that the browser is closed. So session is over, and we still are trying to carry out these below commands. So in this kind of a scenario, you would face session not found exception because Selenium would not be able to locate the session for these further statements. So let's run this program and see. It's launching the Google Chrome browser and then it could not load the Google application and it said session not found exception. So this is how you would be finding this kind of a session not found exception commonly when you try to do some programming. So always the best part to do it is that just have this particular one this particular variable at the end, this driver dot close at the end, it should be the last statement of your execution of a program. Same goes for driver dot quit as well. So close basically closes your current browser window. And if you use quit here, it will be closing all of your windows which are open, including the pop-up windows. So let's just go for close for now. Now the next part which I've got some questions from my students and from my friends is that how do you resolve the other exception? So other exception was web driver exception. So web driver exception basically we would be facing when we are trying to do some kind of a operation within the particular project using Selenium and web driver is not able to locate it. This again could be the case that the window on which it's trying to open, that is the application window on which it's trying to execute some command is not open or it's basically closed due to some abruptness of the application. So let's try to see that demo, how this particular error comes. So let's say we are running this particular program and midway due to some technicality issue, the browser window got abruptly closed. So let it get launched. Yeah. So before even we could execute the further statements, the window got abruptly closed. So that is when you're going to get this web driver exception and it says that the Chrome is not reachable. So these are the two common instances which I just wanted to cover in this particular video. I'll be uploading few more videos to resolve different kinds of other exceptions which we see in Selenium. So stay tuned for those videos and do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications. Thank you so much.